What is up, peeps? Um, I'm doing a continuation on the one chrono gear sets uh, for the time locked progression server. Uh, this is Velios era gear, and today I'm going to be going through a cleric set. So the idea is if you're starting the game, starting up again, you want to relive that nostalgia of EverQuest in all its glory, but you don't want to be, you don't want to have ghetto gear. You want to, you know, start with something. Um, you can go to the store, buy a chrono, trade it in for some platinum. And right now, chronos are going for about 8,400 platinum on Kornov. And so you can use that sum of platinum to deck out your character. Um, so I have a list of items here that adds up to about 8,200 platinum. And uh, I think it's a good a good starting point for a cleric. The stats that I'm focusing on, obviously hit points and mana, wisdom, of course, and uh, stamina. So ma mainly just a hit point pool and a mana pool because that's really all you need. Um, any, any of the stats, you know, any of the other stats on this gear is just a bonus. I'm not really going to go through them, but um, you want to have a, a high hit point pool for that when you get aggro, you don't just fall over. And uh, you want to have a high mana pool so that you can cast more spells before needing to, you know, sit down and, and, and met up. Um, don't be fooled, though, because downtime primarily uh, is mana regeneration based. So until the flowing thought items start popping up in the game, um, mana regeneration, yeah, it doesn't really exist. So e even though you have a high mana pool, doesn't mean that over time... You know, over time, the downtime is going to be dictated based on your mana regeneration rate. So keep that in mind. Um, the high mana pool is just so that you can get through uh, multiple pulls uh, and not have to say, wait, wait, you know, hold on, hold on. You can go more time uh, before before going oom, obviously. So um, let's let's get right into it. Uh, this, this gear, it was... A little bit harder to find pieces than the warrior was. Um, I'm plan on, I plan on doing all of the classes because I actually have been finding this pretty fun. Um, but I pretty much went on to TLP Auctions, uh, which is a great website if you want to like look at what gear is, be is available now and how much it costs. But it pretty much parses the, the auction channels in uh, the common lands and it puts it online. So it's really cool. You can see the, the trends of the, the price on each item and stuff. So I went back a couple of days to see what was available and I pulled this list um, from from the previous few days gear, you know, what's what's been available. Um, okay, so with that said, let's get right into the pieces. I'm gonna start with the ear slot, the earrings. Um, the first one is Hammered Golden Hoop, which I think I'll recommend for every class because it just has a ton of hit points on it. It has 75 hit points and eight stamina. Uh, you do lose 15 AC, but the hit point pool is massive and it'll help you survive way more than the 15 AC will. Uh, cost right now is 450 platinum, but I have seen it go for 300 plat. Um, so keep that in mind. You might, might be able to haggle it down a little bit, but you know. Second earring is the Black Sapphire Electrum, Electrum earring. This one's 500 platinum and it comes with just 35 hit points and 25 mana. So. Once again, hit point pool, mana pool is the focus. So it's a, a perfect earring. Moving on to the headpiece, Nassar Helm. Uh, this is 400 plat right now. And actually there's a lot of Nassar pieces. I think there's four Nassar pieces in this list because they're just a good starting item. But it's 400 plat for nine AC and four wisdom. Cool, cool. Don't really need to say much about that. Um, the face slot is up next. Platinum Ruby Veil. Uh, this is 200 Platinum. And uh, 7 Wiz is the stat that you're looking at on this one. So 7 Wisdom, pretty good. Pretty good. Once again, don't really need to say much about that. Uh, the neck piece. This is a, a great neck piece and it's pretty cheap too. 500 Plat uh, for the Black Sapphire Platinum Necklace. This is 55 HP and 55 mana. Lots. Lots of hit points and mana on this one. It's great. It's great. Uh, the back slot, we're going to go with the Work Dragon Wing Cloak. Uh, this is 500 Platinum, and uh, it's 11 AC, 7 Wisdom. Nice. Nice. 
shoulder slot. I have the Chokadai Hide Pauldrons. Um, this comes with, it's, this is a sick one. It's 500 Platinum for 12 AC, 55 hit points, and 15 uh, stamina. Whew, a lot of hit points. Nice. Uh, you lose 10 strength, though. So, kind of a drawback there, but hey, you know, deal with it. <laughs> Um, chess piece next is I, I picked the bloodstain tunic. This is 150 platinum and comes with 13 AC for wisdom. Kind of kind of plain, but hey, for 150 platinum, sweet. Uh, Nassar van braces is up next. It's arm slot, uh, 400 platinum, 8 AC and four wisdom. So once again, Nassar is just a good starting item. I like those pieces a lot, so that's why I picked so many of them. The two wrists right now is a this is a cleric only wrist. It's called Bracers of the Reverend, and uh, it's nine AC, five Wisdom. So perfect for a perfect starting wrist for uh, um, a cleric. And I couldn't really find too many wrist slots. There was one I think it was chipped bone bracelet. I'm not, I can't remember exactly what it was, but. Then I found these and I was like, nice, this is perfect. I'll, yeah, this is, good. this is a good one. Moving on, the rings. I just picked two Platinum Fire Wedding Rings. These I'll probably recommend for every character as well, every class. Uh, it's 250 Platinum for 5 AC, 55 hit points, and you can find them everywhere. So shouldn't be too hard getting this, getting these two rings. Um, moving on, got for the belt, Crystalline Silk, silk Belt, and this one's Great too. I like this one a lot. Uh, 300 platinum for uh, one AC, 20 hit points, 20 mana, and three wisdom. So it's a nice little, you know, tick three of those boxes. Uh, nice little belt, nice cheap belt. Great. Moving on to the gloves. I put obviously Nassar. Actually, let's see. Gloves and legs are both Nassar. So Nassar gauntlets, uh, 500 platinum for 8 AC and 4 wisdom. And then for the legs, Nassar leggings, 400 plat for 12 AC, 4 wisdom. Cool. Moving on to boots. These, these are, this is an interesting pick. So I was, you know, browsing TLP auctions and there were just no, there weren't very many boots within this price range. Obviously, there's gold nefridi boots, so if you have an on to extra platinum, those are like 2k. Um, but these shimmering terror hide boots, these are 400 platinum, 10 AC, but there's no there's no wisdom or hit points or anything really. Um, but it comes with extended range, so it's a focus effect and it you know it extends the range of some of your spells. So I just I just picked that for the focus effect. It seems like you know if you know, if the boot, if there aren't very many boots out there, you might as well get something that gives you some sort of benefit. And having focus effects obviously is is a really important thing. So once you once you get up there, you know, mana preservation is another focus effect, but those are really expensive pieces. And um, you know, it's, uh, reduced casting. So like the Jarns of uh, what is it? Jarns Amethyst Ring comes with like spell haste. These things are stuff to look out for, but not till later. Obviously, those items get kind of expensive because the focus effects are so good, you know. Um, I'm going to do the range slot next, and then I'll move into the, the weapons. So range slot is bronze statue of Bathazid. Obviously, um, uh, 600 platinum for 25 HP, 25 mana, and 6 stamina. So, oh, oops. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So, range slot too. There's, I mean, there's an improved healing totem, but it, it's so expensive. And uh, just, just for this, the price, having the HP and mana, um, the stamina, I think it's a a fine pick for a range slot. Probably for most characters too. Um, it's gonna be my range go to. But anyway, let's let's move on to the cool stuff. Let's move on to the juicy juice. So the main hand weapon, um, I picked Cone of the Mystics. This, so this is a cheap main hand, 500 platinum, comes with five wisdom and 50 mana. So it's a nice little, nice little stick. 
can't attack with it, so don't worry about that. But I don't think you're going to be doing much attacking anyway. Um, and then the offhand, what? This is a sick one. 500 platinum for uh, crystal chitin shield. Crystal chitin shield, whatever. Um, 500 platinum for 20 AC, 9 wisdom, and 40 mana. What? 9 wisdom? Dang. Dang. <laughs> Um, yeah, so great. A, a thousand platinum for a nice main hand and a nice off hand. Awesome. I, I, I loved seeing those in, in trade. And they're, they're everywhere, so. Good stuff, good stuff. So that finishes the, the gear setup. Uh, and keep, keep in mind, um, this isn't, you know, this isn't, this doesn't have to be exact. You know, if, if you find some other stuff that you like more, this is just a nice base, all right? So let's go over the total, total value, total stats, and um, maybe just a couple of like recommendations for playing a cleric. <clears throat> so it's 8,200 platinum. Obviously you can usually haggle down the price. So you're left with 200 plat from the, the chrono price. And I mean, depending on the chrono price, it might be up, go up or down, but right now with the prices as they are, you have 200 plat left over once you trade in your chrono. Um, altogether, there's 117 AC, whatever, uh, 375 hit points and 215 mana. So that's just raw. That, that has nothing to do with stamina or wisdom. And then 61 wisdom, 29 stamina. So, nice starting point for if you want to play a cleric, and uh, I guess, you know, my, my recommendations on if you want to play a cleric, you're going to be, um, you, you know, you're going to be grouping for your pretty much whole life, so there's no room really to solo. I mean, early on you can do, like, the expel undead stuff if you want to kill undead units or whatever, but that, that stops pretty quick. Um you'll so if if, if you want to if you want to solo or if you want to if you want to not have to rely on grouping for leveling up i mean grouping is always going to be the best but you just don't really have a choice with the cleric you, like enchanters i can you can charm kite so i like my enchanter because not only was i desirable in a group but i could charm kite if i if i had like an hour to kill or whatever i could log in charm some stuff kill some stuff or whatever get like you know some experience um but i, I wouldn't have to rely or you know because if you're only going to play for an hour finding a group i mean with as a cleric you're going to find a group pretty easily but then you know if you're going to have to leave in 30 minutes or whatever it's not yeah groups probably wouldn't like that too much and i don't like that really it's like if i only have an hour to play and i have to group i just won't play which kind of sucks but you know that's the way it is um couple of other things too it's clerics you know you be offered to i mean this is just my recommendation offer to be that guy that goes and reses people if like people are looking for a res um because making friends online being nice to other people is going to get you far you know if you get if you find a reliable group of people to group with um it's gonna it's gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable to play a cleric uh, than if you didn't, I, I think. And that's just my opinion. Um, it's obviously a very social game, and the more social you are, the more the game will, I guess, reward you. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not too sure what class I'm going to do next. I'll have to think about it, look into it. Maybe Necromancer, but I, I kind of already did an int class, so I might do... Yeah, I don't know, maybe Shaman. There were some cool Shaman items up there, but maybe Bard. Maybe I'll do Bard. Either way, I'm rambling now. I just wanted to say thank you for whoever sees this, and I hope it uh, was worth worth the watch, and I hope you enjoy your Cleric if that's the way you go. Um, and obviously, if, if you have any critiques, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I just got a new mic, so the, the audio should be a little bit better. Um, and then obviously like the video if you did like it and feel free to subscribe hopefully i'll get some more everquest content soon um hopefully in the next day or two i'll get my next you know gear guide 
Um, but yeah, so I appreciate it, and everybody, have a nice day.